Wow, you guys, you know, I'm really between a Wayne and a Wayne right now. Um, hey guys, what's up? Welcome to uh, Bus Update. So, this bus update is a good bus update, I will say. <laughs> because uh, 45 here is up and running again. But look at how close we are to 3 right now. Yeah, this is how, because I actually got it running yesterday, but this is how I uh, parked it overnight, because, uh, yeah, you can squeeze between the two buses like I am right now, but there's no way you're opening this door. Um, so the bus does have batteries in it again, uh, but this is how it's going to be getting parked for who knows how long, but as you can see, they're uh, pretty close. Um... I think it's a little ridiculous that this is something I have to do, but, you know, it, it is what it is to keep my batteries from being stolen. Um, so, the door, the door is a funny situation, because I actually figured out how to get it to close properly. Um, so, thankfully, that wasn't something that was as bad as I thought it was. The only sucky thing is I didn't realize all of this until after I put duct tape on it to keep it closed. So we got some uh, paint peel. But that's because over there the paint had already been peeling and it just kind of took it off. So that's going to have to be touched up or repainted or something. But uh, yeah, it could be worse, I guess. But um, yeah, so this is a uh, very tight squeeze as you guys can see. Um, I can barely squeeze myself through here. So, you know, for somebody to want to try to come in here and uh, steal the batteries, it's they're going to work for it, and then they're going to find out that the battery door is not going to open all the way, and there's no way you're getting batteries out of it. So, yeah, um, we're going to go ahead and uh, do some stuff today since it's been a while since, uh, you know, 45 is really been able to do anything. I have a few updates to show you uh, within the bus and um, a few things to talk about so uh, I'll get myself out of here and we'll go ahead and get started. Alright so now we're inside of 45. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get into the few things I want to talk about. So the first thing I want to show you is something I've wanted to do to 45 for a while uh, but I just recently figured out where I could get it kind of affordably um, and that's numbers for my bulkheads so um yeah i don't know 50 a few of our buses 50 included have their numbers on their bulkheads and i've always just liked the way it looks um i know up here i've got 45 on the first or the the body fluid cleanup kit um so like that's two 45s but i don't know i just i really like this and it's in the font that i like um so that's the front and then i got it on the back back there um, now, I put the number on the driver's side. I wish I could have put that 45 over, um, like this one is, but there's a hole from the camera box and a rule sheet, so I couldn't really do that. Um, but here's the rear 45. So I put it over here because I, I just feel like this space looks the best. Um, I mean, it could have went over here and probably not looked too bad. I know that's on 50 where the um, door is for the school bus sign, that's where it's got it. Uh, but I really just like this here, and if you, I don't know, if, if you like look at it from afar, I just think it looks good. And then um, we'll zoom in on the one up front there so you can see it. But uh, yeah, so, hold on, we'll look at the back one too. But yeah, so um, I just kinda wanted to show that off. Uh, I'm here today, I'm gonna film uh, a video of that um, transit liner HDX model um, here in a little bit once I get the bus moved around uh, but yeah so this is uh, like I said earlier this is how I'm having to park it just to mitigate any uh, people trying to steal my batteries but you know you gotta do what you gotta do I guess so um, that's pretty much it for bus update I will definitely include some startup audio or something because it's been a while and um yeah i don't know so um thanks for watching and uh yeah you know i actually just remembered i had forgotten something i wanted to throw into this 
And then something else happened. So now we're just gonna cover it all. So yesterday I, I took uh, 66's route changer off, you know, cause it, it's not gonna be needing it. And then I'm over here looking at my chassis engineered by international emblem and I barely, I mean, I'm just like looking at it and the next thing I know it breaks. So I've got it and I've got the piece and I'm gonna glue it back together, but I don't know, it just kinda sucks. I mean, I know in the end this bus, I mean, it's, I'm planning on parting it out and letting it go and I was probably gonna take that emblem anyways, but but that small thing just happening, I mean, it, it put everything into, I don't know, it, it, it felt more real. Cause like talking about it and actually doing it, I mean, it's just two different things, you know? So, I don't know, I mean, it's kinda sad. I hate the fact that I'm not gonna be able to actually save this bus but, um, you know, if if I could, I'd just park it somewhere and, and leave it. You know, like, if I had my own property, that's what I would do with it. But I don't, so I'm going to have to let it go. And, I don't know, that's just, it's just something small that happened that I wanted to include in bus update. You can also see I cleaned out the little compartment there and then the little compartment there. So, um, and once it gets warmer than it is now I'm gonna start deciding what else to take from the bus so um yeah it's kind of sad but I'm gonna I will be documenting it don't you worry I'm gonna have to try to peel this off so that way I don't know we'll see hopefully I can peel this off without it uh, breaking um so we'll see but yeah I just wanted to include that 